In this video, I'm going to visit what might be the world's most beautiful capsule hotel. Starting at about $30 a night, this hotel is located right next to Gwangalli Beach, which is one of the best places to visit in Busan, Korea. The capsule hotel offers a beautiful ocean view, a compact but somewhat comfortable capsule room, and even an all-you-can-eat snack bar. This is me. I'm going to stay here for a night and give you guys a complete tour of the hotel, so do yourself a favor and watch every second of this video. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go into the hotel. Interestingly, to enter the lobby, first you have to take your shoes off like when you're going to your Asian friend's house. Well, me personally, I just conveniently forget to take my shoes off when I go to my Asian friend's houses. Because I know girls like bad boys, so it's like my way of charming them. There's a shoe locker to keep your shoes, and they're gonna give you slippers to use while you're staying. Also on the first floor, they have this lounge area, where you can just relax and enjoy the ocean view. Chill On the same floor, they also have a cafe, and this is a place where you can enjoy their unlimited snacks and brunch. I'm gonna do that, but let's do the room tour first. So for now, let's take the elevator up and tour their amazing castle rooms. As soon as you get up from the elevator, you'll see a hallway full of lockers. This is where you can keep your belongings. If you actually wanted to stay in a luxurious 5-star hotel, but just couldn't afford to, you can keep those wishes here too. So what do we have here? Whoa. This floor is full of different types of capsule rooms, but I'd like to start with their most iconic capsule room. And that's their capsule room with the ocean view. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I feel like the view is pretty amazing. So they have these platforms that are also your desk, chair, and the staircase to the bed. If you were to actually work here comfortably, you would have to be a pretty small person. I could try sitting here, but I feel like I'm gonna get stuck and my stepsister isn't here to save me, so I'm not gonna risk it. They have cute little features like a desk fan. Oh, ice cold. And they also have this adorable safe. Korea is a very safe place and you most likely won't get your stuff stolen other than your heart. But God knows what us Koreans can do when no one's looking. So keep your stuff safe. A little bit of a safety hazard, but once you step onto the desk, you can throw yourself onto this bed. It looks like this bed over here is a legit single size. It's pretty small. I feel like for me, the space is gonna start to get a little tight. But hey, just on the other side of that bed, you have this prime, perfect, beautiful ocean view of Gwanghanli. Okay, I gotta give it to them, this is a really nice view. I was wondering how I could keep myself warm at night without using another person, and I realized that they had this under their bed. A lot of Koreans have this. This is like an electric blanket, where if you connect AC to it, you can heat up your blanket that's actually in this mattress. And when the weather is cold at night, it feels so nice to have that. It's like one of those things that I feel like other countries should adapt to as well. So that is their capsule room with the ocean view. I believe these rooms are like $40 or less. So I feel like if you're a solo traveler, that would be like an amazing deal. And here's a different layout where they have two beds, one over here and one on top. But Jimmy, I have a lot of friends. What can I do? All right, Mr. Popular, check out this room. Oh, here's another one that feels inhumane and fun at the same time. This one seems to have three beds inside. One over here, and over here, and at the very top over there. I think it's kind of cute that each level has their own little meditation corner. I am all about budgeting, but to me, the whole point of coming here is to get the ocean view, so I don't know if I can recommend it to people. They have single rooms without the view as well. It's really the same size, but without the view, the room just feels painfully small. But if you have like a K-pop physique, maybe this is big enough. They also have this window that connects to the hallway. The way I see it, it's more than just a window. It's like an emergency claustrophobia relief. So I think that was their very basic castle room. How about we look at something that is more special? If you have a little more money to spend, there's a nicer capsule room at the end of this hallway, and that's their corner capsule room with the ocean view. It has a little bit more room to walk, and it's still only about $40 a night, which I think is a steal. Well, this isn't bad at all for a capsule hotel. I feel like they're all really affordable, but if you're on a really tight budget, they have the classic mortuary style capsule as well. I feel like this isn't very appealing because it's only marginally cheaper, but let me go ahead and show you guys what they have inside. They have this adjustable RGB light which is very random. Maybe I'm supposed to feel like I'm in a dance club or something. Okay, that's about everything that's in this room. So if you're staying in one of these capsule rooms, you have to share the shower and the bathroom. So let's go take a look at those. So they have a shared shower and it's very private. 
like a little too private for making new friends. I used to share one shower head with a bunch of other dudes in the military. Compared to that, this is almost lonely. The shower is extremely clean and it doesn't smell like pee like the ones in your gym. And they have everything you need to take a shower so you don't have to bring anything. I like how there's a shower booth and then a little bit of space for you to get changed as well. Now at this point, there is something that I must confess to you guys. Because all thanks to you guys listening to my songs on Spotify which pays me good US dollars, I was able to afford one of their most luxurious rooms with a private shower and a toilet just for myself. I even have a new album inspired by the trip to Busan. So if you guys feel like supporting me, it would be fantastic if you guys can listen to my songs. Anyway, let's see what Spotify money got me here. So instead of a curtain, this room comes with a real door. And guys, can you believe it? They have a sink. It's a tiny sink, but enough to wash my hands after doing my number one. Which I sometimes do. Just kidding, I always do. Underneath the sink, there's a mini fridge. It doesn't have anything fancy, it just has water. But I can appreciate this. If that wasn't enough, they got some amenities here too. Although I don't recommend using a razor blade like this, because these always make you bleed. Like if you were to use this on your nono part, it'll shave it down to like half the size it used to be. So these aren't like the best quality products, but I'm not complaining, because they're gonna save me so much trouble of having to bring my own. Like I was saying, this is my own room, so I have my own little bathroom here too. Check out my toilet. It's kind of a shame that it doesn't have a bidet, but it has a different kind of technology that is a radio. I'm gonna get it to work. You know what's also kind of funny? This articulating mirror. So like, I'm sitting on a toilet. What's the point of having this? Am I supposed to like look at myself as I'm squeezing it out? Okay. So right next to the toilet, there's a shower. I wouldn't say there is too much space here, but it's a private shower in your room. I would take this over any shared public shower. And finally, this is my luxurious room with the ocean view. I would argue that this has one of the best views in the city. I got a little gift on my bed. Popcorn. Some grapefruit juice. I'm going to sleep here, so let's take a look at the bed as well. So the bed here is a queen size bed. I would say it's pretty comfortable. The bed here is actually large enough for two people, so you could easily come here with another person. Comfortable as hell. Obviously people can't see you from the outside, so you have to use the curtain when you do private things. You know, whatever that is. But what if I'm the kind that likes to be seen? They also give you the pajamas to wear while you're staying, and I'll be honest with you, they seem like they've been through a journey. But I'm cool with it because I'm attracted to things and people that's been through some sh**. It's a beautiful room and I could enjoy this all day, but I'm also getting hungry. So how about I experience some all-you-can-eat food that they have? If you're staying in this hotel, you only pay $4.50 for this all-you-can-eat snack bar. It's not quite a restaurant, but they have all kinds of snacks that can fill you up. How did these people know that I love Fruit Loops? I'm gonna get myself some Fruit Loops. I know it's all-you-can-eat. I'm just gonna get enough. Inside the mini fridge, I believe they have a uh, milk. So they have these tea bags that I'm not too interested in. But over here, you can make yourself some coffee. Ooh, they got Starbucks coffee beans. I'm a little tired today, wouldn't mind some good coffee. Do you guys know why I'm on YouTube trying to become famous and successful? It's because one day I want to be so successful. Oh, there's people behind me. That's because one day I want to be so successful that I want to have my own soda machine at home. Like this one right here. Can you imagine that level of success? One day maybe. They also had some Korean snacks and snacks from other countries as well. Wow, so international. I think I want to take this one. Oh, that one looks fun. That one. I also saw these waffles and a toaster. I don't know what it is about these, because I know they're not that delicious, but I always go for them. Okay, this is going a little slower than I expected. Let's give it an eternity. Why don't we get something else while that's getting toasted? Do you guys want to know what capitalism does to us middle-class people, us hard-working people? This apple is me, and this is the machine of capitalism. Behind the machine, there's powerful people operating it, 
me in this case. Oh god, forgot to put the cup in there. The machine grinds me into shreds, juices me out until there's only a waste of me left. But my juice is good because I'm a hard-working young man. Okay, so somebody stole my waffle, which is okay. This lady right next to me, she stole it, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. This lady definitely took my waffle, but that's okay. You can have it, sure. Okay, there's my waffle. Gotta take it before somebody else steals it again. Must take this strawberry jam. They have some ice cream here too. Honestly, they don't look very good. So I don't think I'm gonna have the ice cream. That's my stolen waffle. Man, she's done a hell of a job decorating it though. I'm sorry guys, I'm not holding a grudge. I just like to remember these things. Oh, now I can sit here, enjoy the view. Oh man, this is the definition of chill. Ready for my all-you-can-eat feast? Let's start with this capitalism juice. Most people call it apple juice. Wow, freshly squeezed apple juice. I wish it was a little colder, but that's really good juice. Do you guys like Fruit Loops too? It's one of my favorite. When I was a little boy, there were many things that I wanted to become. And one of them was becoming an American boy, which is why I used to eat a lot of cereal. Hmm. Because that's what American boys do. Hmm. How about this, my friends? My hard-earned waffle. I'm gonna squeeze some strawberry jam. Wow. It looks like this is a croffle, not just a waffle. I wish it was a little fluffier. It feels very dense. Okay, let me try this butter cracker. It says it's made in Indonesia. You know when you go to like an office building and there's this really sweet old lady that's working there and she gives you like a little snack and coffee? This is what that tastes like. This is also from Indonesia, enak snack. So I think the origins of snacks like these, a lot of people used to eat uh, instant noodles without cooking them and it kind of tastes like crackers. And uh, it became so popular that these snack companies made uh, noodle snacks that you aren't supposed to cook. At the end of the day, these are just snacks and these can only be so good. But having unlimited access to this for $4, I feel like that's a sweet deal. It's gotten dark and it's time for me to go to bed. But guess what? In my room, there's a TV that I can watch. So I found out that they had some not so safe for work content for free. So I'm just going to act like I'm watching something else in front of the camera and then later watch what I'm actually interested in watching. Of course, by that I mean the beautiful night view. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go to bed now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So it is the morning and um, even with the curtain on, the room is so bright that I couldn't keep sleeping. I woke up kind of hungry, but what's really nice about this hotel is the fact that they give you a breakfast. So they left this bag on my door. If you're staying in one of the castle rooms, you have to go to the cafe that I showed you earlier to pick it up, but you get the same breakfast. So let's see what I have here. Wow, it's Korean and American. They got cereal. Are you cereal right now? And they got instant noodle. Yeah, I like how it's like, it's either one of these two. I'm not in the mood for an instant noodle as my breakfast. So I think I'm gonna have some cereal as I'm looking outside at this beautiful view. If you guys feel like I look really tired this morning, that's because I was tired. I went to bed kind of late and by the time it was like 6.30 in the morning, the sun already came up and the room was already too bright to sleep. Anyway, let's have some cereal. Huh, that's weird. Why do I feel like I've seen that before? Having some cereal as my breakfast like a cool American boy? While enjoying this amazing view? Now that's a dope way to start a day. I would say the overall hotel experience was really great. The all-you-can-eat snack cafe was super fun and affordable. And while the hotel might not have the most luxurious space, you get to stay in a prime location for a price that is unthinkable in other hotels. Thankfully, the rooms are extremely clean. 
and the view that you get is really worth enjoying at least one time. Okay, so I thought that was a pretty fun place to stay in. Now, if I were to come here again, I'd probably just get the castle room with the ocean view. I feel like that's probably the best deal. But yeah, if you guys ever come to Busan, and if you're looking for a good budget hotel, there's the place. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and till we meet again, goodbye, my friends. By now, you must really want to watch my other videos or at least listen to my songs, right?